Good morning students, 5th graders, how are you? I hope that you are very well at home. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on pages 134 and 135 and the topics are research and study skills, schedules. Be ready and pay attention, okay? A schedule or a timetable as a basic time management tool consists of a list of times at which possible tasks, events or actions are intended to take place or of a sequence of events in the chronological order in which such things are intended to take place. Take a look to these chart. This is a daily schedule. The first bar says, or you can see, hours. I know that you can read from the green bar all over to the gray bar that you can see that that all the time it's the time of one day okay a whole day and the second bar you can see wake up outdoor time academic time creative time lunch home chores quiet time academic time outdoor time dinner time bath time reading TV time bed time okay but but you will see another specific things that you will, that you can do on the next bar those are specific things that you do on a specific hour Okay guys, in the next schedule, you will see daily chores. And on the top, you can see things that you will do and another things that you will do on a specific every day. Like make your bed, clothes in humper, pick up toys, pee your fist and have fun. You will see on day number one through all the day to the day 31, I mean 31st, you will see different kind of chores and I hope that you can do something uh, like this to work on home. A daily chores can help you organize at home what you have to do and also you can say mom or dad mom I can help you doing this this day I can help you cleaning up my room doing my bed clean uh, cleaning the kitchen and feed pets clean room help, help with the dinner uh, water pants clean rooms bake him like I'm reading just uh, the daily chores schedule, so you can um, you can present this to your mom and and say, mom, I can help you doing this, and you will organize all your things, and it will be more easier to mom and you to work together. This is a schedule that you can do to organize uh, things and activities that you do on a week. This is my favorite one because it is colorful and you can use pictures and it's a little bit more organized. You can use this to work at home or to do your, your activities at school. Okay, fifth graders, I hope that, that 
the lesson of schedules, uh, research and study skills, it's, it is clear for you. I want you to work on page 134 and 135. Pay attention and read closely and slowly all the questions so you can answer them. Okay? If you have any problems, just send me a message through the platform and I will be gladly to uh, help you. Blessings to everyone and I say goodbye and take care. Okay? Bye.